It's just whistling of wind over here. And you know already that Cora is like, oh, welcome to the jungle. I got funny games. And like, no, fuck off. Listen to the man. Welcome back to Cloudpunk, the city of ghosts. I'm your man today, so the man. We're gonna continue the story. We're gonna find out what is the ill within the city. And apparently right now we have to do some type of a broadcast. I'm supposed to do karaoke in the city of the future. Me, karaoke. I can already imagine like half of the amount of subscribers leaving the this channel already. He's gonna sink, by God. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking sink, why not? Right? So basically, uh, this DLC so far is a mess. We started with a new character that I was not aware what exactly we we're supposed to do. And we are back playing as Rania. I'm getting closer to the point where I actually have to sink. Sometimes I wonder if Cloudpunk does normal deliveries. I don't know. Normal deliveries like? Like a man needs new shoes because his old shoes have a hole. So we pick up new shoes and take them to him. Then he has new shoes, and his new shoes make him happy. Sounds pretty boring. Did you not understand the part where he is happy about his new shoes? I hear you, Camus. Let's start the broadcast. So, this is the beat, and I just... Uh, no. I can't do this, Camus. I can't sing. This is like my own personal nightmare. Can I? Seriously, you want to sing the client's lyrics? It looks more like rapping than singing. I can rap. I have sick flows. Oof, knock yourself out. Trying to find a new way to spread the word. Infant mortality in Midtown up one third. Corpse charge for immunizations to diseases they're creating. But it's the android preacher on the corner that you'll be hating. Hyper gentrification, hyper inflation. One in five androids with their memories deleted. Forced to check in at the corpse sex station. We complain, but the corpse just tell us to eat it. Now I preach the word the only way I can. Ghost in the machine. Still, you don't treat me like a man. Spread hate and lies about me and good people like you three. They're the ones y'all venerate. Would if you were really free. Still, it's the ones with no power they fear. Because if they ain't the ones to blame, it's all too clear. The ones with power fear the powerless. Because they got it all to lose. All we gotta do is press for what we deserve. What we're due. If you're one of the court elite, listen close. We're gonna take it all from you. I was born into the Vallis, less than nothing. All I had was my words. All day long, I'd sing, preach on the corner to anyone who hears. Now, my words and assault on your ears. Every rhyme a crime and reverse a curse. Still, there's truth in my words. And even if you don't care what I say. I have honestly no idea what's happening right now, but I am pretty impressed about the singing of Camus. What the shit? This is... This this game just gets more and more baldy than it was in the previous one. It wouldn't be less true if I said it any other way. I wrote these lines from a re-education camp by the light of a low-burning lamp. Navalis painted prettier with nostalgia and distance. I miss the streets and the bars and the clubs where we dance. But all of that is just a distant memory. My friends and brothers and sisters already forgetting me. This corpse sec knows how we all think. Forget your dreams, forget your family. Now have another drink. They charge a fortune for medicine, make the booze cheap. Because they know we can't think straight when we can't walk in a straight line. I tell my brothers to keep a clear head, but they're already asleep. Korra rising up from the ocean is a sign. This is the end times, we gotta pick a side. Are we gonna lift up others? Or are we trying to hide? Judgment flares up like a wave of pure fire. It will burn away the coward and the pragmatist, the liar. I ain't got much left in me. Y'all ain't halfway close to being free. Sands run low. Soon, I will stop. Your time's running out. I'm just a clock. Rise up. Rise up. Take stone and brick in hand. Smash the whole thing to the ground. Make a fucking stand. I'm Comrade Bob. This is my last request. You gotta go out with a bang and not a shrug. But more important than fighting or being right, you gotta be kind. Be kind. Be kind to one another, brothers and sisters. I love you all. Is that it? There are no more words. The end didn't rhyme. I guess Bop needed someone else to rap because he was already... Oh no, 
Hello? You are not saying anything. Are you okay? I'm fine, Camus. I can't tell you how to feel. I can only tell you how I feel. How do you feel? Angry and sad all the time. That's how I always feel. Oh. Oh. Well, that hit me right in my emotions, man. I'm supposed to be this badass, you know, CEO of everything around me, but right now I just want to plant and I want to get a drink. What? Control! What? What do you want? Hey, Rania. Or, or is it Rania? Wait, have I been saying your name wrong all along? Either way is fine, Control. Another job? Yep, but first, I want to talk to you about Koga. He's been calling. Shit. Did you have a word with Cloudpunk management? Not yet. I have an idea. Hear me out, okay? We have this former driver, old friend of mine. Or, he was before he screwed me over. Well, he fucked over Curzona a few years back, too. In fact, he fucked over a lot of people. If I was to let Curzona know what he did... Rat out an old friend? If you knew half the shit Hayes pulled, you wouldn't call him a friend. He's burned a lot of bridges, but with me, he nuked the bridge from orbit. Anyway, he recently got back in contact after being off the grid for years. If I turn him in, it might win us enough goodwill to keep you. But that's only if Cloudpunk will back me. We gotta get in their good books. How do we do that? We work together. Make them a lot of money tonight. Prove your worth. Every extra job, every piece of shit Aaron no one else will do, we pick it up. We show them how fucking flexible we are. If they ask us to fly down to the sump and bring them spore slime, we ask if they want one handful or two. Loving this plan so far, Control. It's never too late to give up and sign that Corzona contract, Rania. Spore slime isn't that bad. That's the spirit. Now, I'm gonna need you to go... And then pick... Control? Control, you're breaking up. Jen, can you clear up the signal? Cloudpunk comm servers are in maintenance mode. Again? Damn it, she tells me to take on more jobs, then the system goes down and we're left sitting on our hands. Maybe we should take a break. You seem tired now. I'm always tired, Camus. I just... Cloudpunk driver message incoming. Driver in distress. Requesting pickup. Nav point active. Looks like someone needs a pickup, Camus. We should help them. We need to look good to Cloudpunk management. Bleed now, driver! When do you think you'll find bloody time to come rescue me? I sent a distress call four fucking hours ago, and I'm only getting a confirmation now. Wait, is that Boz? Yeah, it's me. I guarantee it ain't bleeding anyone else, is it? I was in the middle of an easy job in the vents. The vents? That's not an easy job. And I thought you got fired. Fired? Me? No, it was all a stitch-up. Android son of a bitch is saying I was paranoid. Ah, if I was so paranoid, how come they was the ones trying to get me fired? Answer me that, eh? So what happened down in the vents? I was minding my own business when all of a sudden I pass out at the wheel. Someone must have spiked my drink or something. Either that or Cora hacked into my subconscious and made me crash. But anyway... I wake up lying next to the wreckage of old Bess, the best hover I ever had the privilege of driving through these piss and rain soaked streets. My old girl was fucked four ways from Sunday, and when I tried to stand up, I saw my shin bone poked out through my flight suit. Had to take four doses of juice just to stay lucid. Are you sure you took the juice after the crash? Yeah, mostly, yeah. Drives for Cloud Punk with a completely clear head, isn't it? You need something in your system to keep your spirits up, don't you? No. Exactly. So, anyways, I'm supposed to meet some old guy called Ratsu, but when I crash here and look for someone to help, there's no bloody sign of him. I wander into some maze, trailing me broken leg like a hop along pirate, until eventually. I found an old Combrock Spectrum signal booster. I'm smart with technology lines, so I'm rigging up to send a message. But even now, I know my call is going out. Nothing! Uh, until you pick up anyway, love. You, uh, close by now? No. Oh, Cloud Punk will be pleased you're picking me up. They pay a bonus for driver rescues, because they charge me for it afterwards. Get your skates on, love. So I'm saving you after a hover crash again. 
Uh, yeah, right. Once more for an old pal, eh? On my way, Baz. Rania out. I am not a huge fan of Baz. I am not even a small fan of Baz. Me neither, Camus. And something's up. He's acting suspicious. More than usual? He said he was delivering to Retsu. Retsu's dead. Cloudpunk know that. And why was he down in the vents? I'm pretty sure he was fired, too. The message signal seemed to come from a Cloudpunk comm. Seemed to, yeah. But there's something else. I... I don't think he remembers me. Why would he forget? Drugs? Alcohol? Could be, Camus, but we might as well help him. There are no active jobs for us right now, and if Control really can spring us from Kurzona, we have to do everything possible to help her. There's one thing I hate about this city, the events. Like, there has been nothing, and I say nothing and never, ever came good from the vents. The only thing I get from the vents is like one casualty from a guy that Rani already mentioned. It is creepy down here. Quiet, still and cold, filled with twilight ghosts. I know. The quicker we find Boz, the better. But I don't see any sign of him. He said something about a maze. We're getting no comm signal down here. Maybe we can ask one of the moisture farmers. Okay, sure. Let's ask one of the moisture farmers. I bet they're gonna help me. I mean, they should help me, right? So, considering the previous game. Come on, Camus, let's go. This place is fucking creepy. Like, I'm just waiting for that frost black thingy to go around. Hey, I'm Rania. I don't know if you remember. I remember. You brought the rations. Got us through the cold snap a few months back. I was hoping you could help me. What do you need? A delivery driver crashed. I'm trying to get him back to... What do you folks call the city again? The big stack. And I haven't seen any crashes. No drivers. Shit. He said he was in... In some sort of maze. Could be the trap. I hope it's not. That place is a real... Maze? Sure is. You can find it out east. Here's a nav point. Is it dangerous? You're in the vents. Everything is dangerous down here. But the trap is something else. You gotta keep your head. And make sure you follow your footprints back out. And look out for old tar. Old tar? Vents are folklore. When something or someone is so lost they can never be found, we say old Tar is taking them off to his lair. Legends say he'll turn your footprints backwards so you go around in circles. A legend based on fact? <laughs> no, probably not. The trap is just confusing is all. Some ancient relic of the pre-city. It's real easy to get lost and never find your way out. Just be careful, miss. I will. Thanks. This just more and more feels like a bloody ass trap. You know? In the maze? In the vents? Deep? Underneath something? Where cold snaps f happened and people die because reasons? Uh, call for help from a guy. Okay, there's the maze. Oh my god, that's a new section. I don't recall that section to be there before. Okay, I can go around and basically get there, that's for sure. But still, that doesn't change a thing. This place is a trap. It's a maze and it's a trap. And I'm going straight in on fucking nitro boosts. Why should I go inside? Because apparently I'm extremely stupid. Hell, why no? Let's go investigate, right? What's the worst that could possibly happen from this fucking shit show? Okay, boys, it's discovered vents. No, I haven't discovered the vents right now. I discovered them like long time ago. And this is a completely new section. Oh my god, it's another maze. Alright, that doesn't look that hard. You just have to go a little bit to the right. Just look out for like any walls. I don't think there's gonna be anything here. I don't think it's gonna be Scorpsec. I mean, if Corpsec wanted to catch me, they just do it in the city. And this place is fucking terrifying. How the hell the developers managed to make a horror area with just pixels is beyond me. But they did, they did a really good ass job, man. Let me just tell you this. They did a really good job with this place. I mean, I hate the vents. I really hate the vents. It's just whistling of wind over here. And you know already that Cora's like, oh, welcome to the jungle. I got funny games. And like, no, fuck off. 
I am not going to play fucking Monopoly with you. Shut up. Okay. Right, that's the place to land. I do not like this place. It reminds me of Korra's sanctum. It feels old. Very old. Be careful. I'll stay here by the calm. At least I can park here, so that's great. Yeah, this definitely looks like Korra Sanctuary from the previous game. Oh, great. Change of view. I wonder why. Well, you know me. I love sniffing around. So I'm gonna sniff in every goddamn ass corner. And maybe we can actually find something useful. Like, for example, this thing. Oh, great. A magazine. <laughs> and magazine. Yeah, so I found a magazine in the old side of the city. You know, completely abandoned. I wonder from which year this thing is. Okay, great, more books. Why not? Stuff yourself in, Rania. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna die, at least die with lots of books in your pocket. I, I if, if there's gonna be some type of a... Uh... Oh, great. No way I can get through this. There is a card reader. Maybe you can find a key. Maybe, but why would Boz be behind a locked door? He might have come into the maze a different way. I guess so. There's no other way to go. Let's see if I can find a key then. That was quick. I found the key really easy. This might be the key for the door. It has something written on it. One word. What does it say? Deeper. Mm. Great. Deeper. Sure. Sure, why not? Like, what's, what's that could possibly happen? If I'm gonna find some type of a cyberpunkish version of a Minotaur, I'm gonna get really pissed. Okay? I'm already lost. What the fuck? Where the fuck am I going? This way? Yeah, okay, this way, then to the right, to the left, to the left, I think. Yeah, left side. And there it is. Okay, let's check the key card. It worked. The key went in. I can't get it out again, though. You are very lucky that you found a key for the locked door. Very close to the locked door. Yeah. Extremely lucky, Camus. Like, w welcome to gaming one on one. Well, I guess I'm not going back that way. Yeah. Is this bad? Yes. This seems bad. Yes. It's fine, Camus. When the Cloudpunk system comes back online, they'll track our Hava. If we're stuck, someone will come find us. Like we came to find Baz. Exactly. Let's find another way out. Okay, I'm really happy that there's actually no way to drop on your head forward. Because, yeah, that'll be a long ass drop, man. <laughs> I'll be dropping longer than this episode would last. A fuse. Why the fuck I need a fuse for? Just keep collecting. Like, if something is not nailed to the ground, you, you, you grab it, okay? In this game, especially. It's not nailed to the ground, you take it to your pocket, you throw it in, and you wait for the perfect opportunity to use this item. Which is gonna be probably in the next five seconds. Where the hell am I? Planks? Really? Okay. Uh, the map is completely Do not... Do you hear that? I hear footsteps, but I think they are your own echoing back. Maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, I don't think so. There is something here, and I swear to god, if that's gonna be a fucking jump scare, I am uninstalling the game. If you're gonna give me a fucking ass jump scare, I swear to god, I am throwing the game through the window. Out of my windows. Haha! <laughs> See what I did over there? Yeah, not fucking funny, Neo. I know! Shut up! Okay, maybe this way? If I'm- I'm looking for something... This is creepy! Another narrow path. This is like a nightmare. Just gotta keep my head. Found a key card, so probably that's gonna be useful at some point in my life. Oh, great, an elevator. Ah, it requires a fuse. How convenient. And I'm stuck. <laughs> great. Oh, the camera went back to normal, so that's okay. And... Okay, that wasn't long. Now what? Crane control. Uh, what? The fuck I'm supposed to do with this shit? I don't see any code around here. Where the fuck I'm supposed to find the code? No, this is a serious question right now. Where is the code? Somewhere on the wall? I don't see. Wait. Of course it's over here. Ah! Okay, we have to go back. Alright, so how it was going? D, I think? Uh, six? Wait, I have it right down somewhere over here. Eight, three, uh, four, and A. Hey, hey, it's working! 
Okay. I'm surprised something exploded. I mean, above of the city is like constantly exploding and destroying itself and over here in the older sides of the city, it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. You want to move an ancient crane that haven't been moved for like the past thousand years? Fine with me. No, nothing's gonna break. I wonder why. I honestly start to wonder why. And probably I have to go around. So, yeah, it's this way, and probably I'm gonna go to the other side, and that's gonna be the side where the crane should be, which is somewhere over here. I think I see it. Is that the crane? No, it's not. Maybe over here? Ah, there it is. Okay, continue the story. Bloody hell, I'm waiting for you! Your signal! So at least, or now you're near and coming for me! Whatever! Just hurry and watch out for bleeding, You're bleeding aging. Oh. Boz, Boz, come in. I'm close. Where are you? Shit. No more signal. He must be very close if his wide spectrum calm is coming through. Right. I'm almost there, Camus. Finding more shit. Coolant. Why the fuck I need a coolant? Uh, it's really cold already over here. I don't need that thing. Another elevator. As I said already, this place is terrifying. But okay, find Buzz. Get the hell out of here. Grab the money. Do you believe what the moisture farmer said? About about old tar and being lost in the maze? I didn't until I got here. Is old tar going to get us? No, Camus, it's just a legend. However, stumbling into lethal radiation or falling down a pit or being eaten by some kind of spore creature? Well, that's always a possibility in the undercity. I can sense so many rats. Please give me information on a need-to-know basis. I hate rats. Do you want to know about the number of spider mites? What do you think? <laughs> I mean, Camus is always adorable. Oh. You need to... Ah! Uh, that sounds bad. Oh, no. Baz's signal is clearing up, but he's not saying anything. Just a little further, Camus. Why don't you fuck off? Get your bleeding ass home! Hang on, Boz. The fuck is going on over there? Boz, what the hell are you doing? Why, where did you fall? I honestly hope you haven't fell deeper into the city. I mean, under the city. What is this thing? World of Warcraft? I mean, this thing, this is a lot better than under the city, that's for sure. I mean, this thing is deep. Okay, go, Rania, go, 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 go. The lift broke. I have to cross these pipes. I hope they hold. Just don't look down. Eyes ahead. I can do this. Yeah, it should be easy. Why I haven't asked Cora for help? This platform is rusted through. Gotta take this slow. I'm taking this thing super slow, Rania. Trust me. They call me the slowest guy in the city, you know, for a bloody good reason. Ask my ex. Ha <laughs> Boss, I see him! He's over there, to the left. Rania, move it faster! Bloody hell, love! You're getting your makeup done or what? I need you to pick me up! Fucking pronto! We're really close, Boz. Rania, go. Not in. In Vance. Control. Control, I'm almost at Boz. I'm going to bring him in. Not. Seems. Careful. Control. Control. Damn it, Camus. I'm not sure about this, but we only have one more door to pass through. After that, we should be clear to pick up Boz and find a way out. What do you think? I think you need to keep going, but be careful. Agreed. Camus is the best dog. Say what you want, he's the best dog. Boz, are you okay? What's going on here? Who is that? Love, run! You call it, run! Hey, who are you? Did you do this to him? This is really bad. She is not what she seems. She seems to be a little girl. Bloody hell, love! Get out of here! Go! <laughs> oh. That girl is wrong. Feels wrong. You should do what Baz said. You should run. He's not dead. I should help him. You should run away. Maybe. I don't know, Camus. You should decide fast. I think she is coming back. Yeah, that's a stupid idea. What the fuck you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save him! Oh, love. You shouldn't have. What? Come on, Boz. You can make it. Grab my arm. 
<sighs> it's no use. She shanked me with a braid coated in a nanite. Ugh. Me body. Oh, bloody hurts. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it's breaking down me cells. Oh, I've seen it happen before. Me mate downtown was in a bar fight. Got knife by one of them assassin droid blades. It's too late. Who is she? Dunno. She was after you, though. Must have tracked you down. Use me to lure you in or something. <coughs> she won't stop till she catches you. An assassin droid? Why would someone send an assassin droid after us? Uh, said you ain't uh, dead. Her name's Arco. Uh, told me that while she was waiting for you. She was peeling me fingernails off. Fuck! Uh, <coughs> can you reach in me pocket and uh, give me the vial? Sure. This is juice. <laughs> yep. You took it all? But that will... <sighs> Kill me. Right enough. And hopefully before the nanites reach me fucking brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm checking out, love. I'll see ya <laughs> in the next life. Fucking androids! <laughs> Buzz? Buzz! You need to go. You need to go fast. What the fuck was that supposed to be? What? Why the guy died? Why he had to die? What the hell is going on over here? Why? What's happening? What's happening? Camus? What? I'm stuck. What? Whoa, what the fuck was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not me. That's not me. I'm not farting with- ah! She is following us, but she is just walking. No. Why isn't she running? <sighs> Maybe she's not smart. Or maybe she knows I'm headed for a dead end. Either way, gotta keep running. Yeah, keep running, Kranya. Keep running like crazy. There's a fucking assassin droid sniper behind us. Whoa! She can't aim for shit. Haha, <laughs> you've missed again. Fuck you. Going zigzags around here. Ah, oh, fuck. What the heck is this thing? Access restricted. Access code. What access code? Where the fuck am I supposed to find the code? I don't see the... Oh. It is 87% rust. It has to, Camus. It's on the wall! The code is on the wall! What was the code? 928FC. 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 8FC. There you go! Aha! Oh! oh. Really? Rania. Yeah? Do you copy? Yeah, I do copy. I'm a bit dead, but I copy. <laughs> you died. <laughs> really? Try again then. Okay, but this time. I gotta do it a little bit better. Okay, zigzag. Running zigzag McQueen, go! Yeah, uh, that's not this way. Maybe this way? Come on. Can't aim for shit! She's following us, but she is just walking. Why isn't she running? Because she sucks! <sighs> maybe she's not smart. Or maybe she knows I'm headed for a dead end. Either way, gotta keep running. Yeah, I'm running. I'm running like crazy. Okay, Danya. Left, right, straight. Zigzags. Zigzags. Going zigzags. Okay, go to the code. 928FC, 928FC, 928FC. There you go. Wait for the thingy to lower itself. Don't go inside right away because the sniper is gonna fucking kill you. Now go, 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 go. What's there? This walkway won't hold your weight. It is 87% rust. It has to, Camus. Wow. Well, we've lost the assassin. I think, I hope. Rot down there. I hope we don't see her again. I don't think that that works that way, Camus. That's an assassin droid. They don't give up that easily from from I am aware. Get to the vehicle. Are you okay? You are shaking again. <sighs> no, Camus. I am not okay. They finally found us. After all this time, running this far, they still found us. That was a Dec Corp android. How can you be sure? She was familiar. The way she moved. I've seen her before, back home. I was just thinking about the footsteps. Do you think old Tar saved you? I don't understand how you escaped. All that matters now is we find somewhere to hide out till I can call control. 
We need help, and I don't know who else to ask. First things first, get the hell out of here because holy shit, there's a fucking android going after us, and we are in the vents, and I hate the vents. I, I as I said, nef nothing, never good. Jen, get me control now. Hey, Ronia, the job allocation system isn't back online yet, but we got the comms back, and listen, control, we're in trouble. We, you and me. No, me, mostly me, mostly me. Regular trouble, like a gangster threatened to kill you, or... No, real trouble, like a debt corp has tracked me down. That's not good. Why do I get a feeling there's more? Boz is dead. Not all bad news, then. Oh, come on! Oh, I don't mean that. I just... I make awkward jokes when I'm nervous. There's something else, isn't there? Some kind of bounty hunter is after me. A reprogrammed assassin droid. I've seen it before, back home. Are you asking me to help you pay off a debt corp? There wouldn't be much point in asking that, right? None at all. We need a place to hide out. Why don't you just go home? I can't lead them back to... I don't want them to know where I live. If they had to track me down by using Boz, maybe that was the only lead they have so far. I need somewhere to lay low. And you don't have anyone else to ask for help, right? No one. <sighs> you heard of holdout pods? I've heard of null pods. Uh, same thing. Little safe rooms that have reactive, camouflaged exteriors. Normally, they get used by spy or poverty tourists who want to spy on the undercity in luxury. Or disgraced CEOs who haven't f***ed their corpse sec bribes. Cloudpunk has one? An old one. Reserved for emergency use only if we think a driver needs to be protected. You'd do that for me, Control? Normally, no. But I bet that asshole Creddy that my best driver would outperform his best driver tonight, and I hate losing a bet. I'm touched by your concern. Do you want nice words, or do you want actual help? The second one. Sending you a nav point. Call me when you get there. Stay safe, Rania. Control. Thanks. Wow. Wow, this is, this is getting deep, boys. Okay, we have to get to the holdout point. Oh, shit. Get to the traffic, just saying. I don't know. Hold out pot. I have no idea, Camus, but we need to get off the streets. If that android could get to us in the vents, Midtown isn't safe. You recognize the assassin? From where? I don't want to talk about it. Notification ping. What? You have a notification. You don't need to tell me that. You can just speak or make a noise. You have not yet selected a notification sound. Just tell me what the notification is. I detected a threat to your safety 11 minutes ago. As part of your Automata's premium plan, an incident report with safety recommendations has been compiled and is now available. Thanks, a little bit too late. I mean, if you could actually activate sooner next time, that'd be wonderful. Like, I don't know, 20 minutes before the actual event happening. Ah, uh, boss is fucking dead. Android is behind me and I'm running somewhere and I really, really don't know what to do. With recommendations, the report contains 10,000 words, 70,000 characters, 12,000 blank space characters. Just give me a summary. With 97% accuracy, my report concludes you were involved in an altercation with a repurposed A3 Corwin Systems assassination android. As you survived the altercation, it can be surmised that this unit is not as effective in its current role as it was in its assassination configuration. And what is its current role? My report surmises this android is a bounty hunter. Sent by? The report does not include that data. Could it be a debt corp? Yes, it is possible this repurposed android has been sent out to collect a bounty for a debt corp. What can I do to get away from it? Escape scenarios. However, clearing your outstanding balance with the debt corp may reduce the likelihood of your organs being harvested to recover your debt. Jen, that's no help. Will we be safe in a holdout pod? A holdout pod is currently the most secure option available for evading a pursuer within this layer of Nivalis. However, an A3 Corwin system unit's main objective will never time out. It is armored with ferrofibers, uses a nanite-based blade system, can impersonate individual's voice, personality, and comm signal with 99.98% accuracy and is significantly stronger, faster, and more dangerous than a Corpsec Rank 12 Enforcement Officer. 
I get it, Jen. Unstoppable killer robot that looks like a person. Probably tried to shoot at it. Oh wait, we don't have any weaponry. I hope your next owner doesn't mind the upholstery being covered in my blood. I am sorry. It's fine. It's not your fault. Thank you for the report. Let's just get to that pod. Then we'll figure out what to do. Will Pasta be safe at home? Safer than if I lead the killer robot back there. So basically, a murderous toaster is going after me. She has a nanoblade, a sniper rifle. She can fake mimic voices, comm signals. And apparently is capable of finding me within this shithole known as Nevalis. Wow! What a fabulous encounter, developers! Where, when, when did we go from like peaceful, casual storytelling to like actual fucking assassin droids? I don't know, corpse wars? Stuff like that. I actually prefer the old Nevalis, you know, when everything was falling apart. It was way better. Now, where the hell is a parking lot? I need to park somewhere here. I don't see anything. I mean, there's a parking lot, I think, behind this building over here. There it is. Okay, try to park. Come on. There you go. Come on, Camus. Let's go. We need to find the uh, the holdout point, pod now. I'm surprised that the assassin haven't catch with me up just yet. Okay, well, is there anything else we could try to do? Can we get like an EMP or something? Also, what the fuck is a level 12 enforcer of the corpse sec? I mean, seriously. How strong is that thing? How strong is the thing that's after me? Well. Hope you'll be safe here. Hello, Rania. Ah, shit. Oh, no. This place is compromised. Come on, Camus. Let's go. The door is locked. And hello to you too, Camus. Don't worry. We're safe from Acho now. What the hell are you doing here? I really do hope you'll forgive me for intruding like this. I owe you an apology. It's not right for me to just appear like this in your home. Not right at all. Well, I say your home. We both know that's not quite accurate. This is not your home. This is Cloud Punk's best attempt at keeping you safe. Still, my infraction stands. I was not invited. I hope you'll forgive me when I explain how I can help you. Help me by opening the door. I have nephews, two of them, energetic young boys. Little spoiled, but I love them anyway. Well, the thing about kids is, they sometimes want something they shouldn't have. You gotta remember you're their family, not their friend. So when little Alex asks if he can sit inside the food recombinator and turn the heat up, I say no. He cries, screams. I cause those tears. And that upset is my responsibility. That's what I'm doing right now, Rania. Being more than your friend. I'm being your family. Doing what's best for you. I won't open the door. Because Archo will find you. And Archo will kill you a damn sight faster than that food recombinator would cook Alex. You control the holdout pod? So control set me up. I am an employee of Crizona. That alone confers me many advantages over a regular Nivalis corporate citizen. But I'm also a recruiter, a senior role that requires significant clearance and includes specific privileges. Finding and controlling a holdout pod is a mediocre task for a man of my means. I only want a moment of your time. Then I'll open the door and be on my way. Get on with it. You're in a lot of trouble, Rania. I'm worried about you. The dead corpse from back east have tracked you down. You must have known it would happen. It's only a matter of time. You won't be paying them off with a cloud punk salary. Not without giving them your lungs, liver, and at least four kidneys. And I'd guess that's a few more than you can spare. So I come work for Curzona and you pay off my debt. I'd love to say I can do that around here. But no. No, I can't offer you that much for so little. You see, we're not just interested in your driving. You're good, and you have potential. But there's more. You're interesting. That's a special thing to be in Nivalis, especially when you catch the interest of my superiors. Well, I have no idea why anyone is interested in me. Now you are the one being rude, Rania. You're contradicting me. Never contradict me. Don't take me for an old fool. I'm old, 
but I'm as dangerous as all the others you're running from. Art Show, The Assassin Android, Rubric, The Chorus. I know those names, and so do you. Why? Those are important enemies. Why are they all after a simple cloud punk driver? You know why. Something you did two months ago. I don't have all the details, but it won't take me much longer to find out. You done? Almost. This is what I'll protect you for. You come work for Crizona, and you reveal your secrets. You agree to that? Well, I'll make sure all the demons knocking on your door get dispersed like shadows at sunrise. But your time is limited. You get back to me by the end of my shift. Understand? I heard everything you said. And that android, Acho, she's dangerous, but she's insane. Be careful, Rania. Even dead corps, crime lords, and secret societies can be reasoned with. But a woman with a capacity for violence and a shaky grip on reality. Well, that's not just the most dangerous thing in Novalis. That's the most dangerous thing in the world. Thanks for the debrief, Mr. Freeman. Bye! Bye! Hope the door won't hit you on an exit. Ah, fuck. What now? I don't know. Wait till morning. Then what? <sighs> I would like to have some answers for that thing, Camus. Oh, hey, yay! The other guy that we've started the game with, and I still have no idea who the fuck is he. But then again, controls say that he's a driver that burns the bridges uh, that he crosses. Right? He burned all the bridges behind him. So... That's the guy. That's the guy that she wants to rat out. So Rania is gonna be safe. Question is... How I'm gonna be involved with all of this thing? <laughs> like, I'm supposed to actually do something? Hello? Anybody do some talking? Well, apparently Morpho here doesn't want to talk with me. Is your regurgitation complete, or will you continue to expel your stomach contents for an additional period of time? <coughs> oh, come on, just give me a minute, man. I just... <sighs> right. Unless my memory file is incorrect, I believe I warned you not to eat the eel-infused vodka. Is my memory file incorrect? It must surely be incorrect, as doing so when you had already been pre-warned it was laden with bacteria is highly illogical. Why do you continue to poison your body? If you really love something, you let it kill you. You love fermented fish drinks that much? You could be quiet any time now, or better yet, leave. I will accompany you throughout the night so that I might arrest you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Additionally, you spent all my Corpsec discretionary funds on pizza, alcohol, and sneakers. And you have already thrown up on the sneakers. No more discretionary fund and no more riding in my Hava. Unless you can borrow some more money. Or maybe you have some attachment you can use to clean sneakers. That is not an appropriate way to talk to an artificial life form or a Corpsec officer. You're not a Corpsec officer. You're... <laughs> Alcohol consumption is a curious human custom. I have noted that when you are drunk, you believe you are more charming and more attractive, and you think the evening is going well for you. Why would you consume something that warps your view of reality? Reality is for people who can't face booze. I recommend we leave soon. This is a prestigious area, and if you were to be arrested by local security, I would be unable to arrest you tomorrow. Oh. Uh, let's go to the Hava. I can change my shirt, and you can ask the senior corpos for more discretionary funds. Do you intend to spend the whole night drinking, calling old girlfriends, and antagonizing all people in your book of grudges? <laughs> I think to regret showing you the book. Would you rather I work to settle my debts and clear my name? Negative. I plan to arrest you, and to do so, I need you to have an outstanding Corpsec arrest warrant. Right, so mind your business or you might end up in the book too. This guy a fan of Warhammer. The Book of Grudges, the Dwarven, the Dawi, Book of Grudges. 
<laughs> You're in the book. This shit goes to do the book. Okay, here's the deal, Corp Bot. I've got some difficult calls to make and some friends to visit, and I don't feel up to it. Nobody should have to go through what I've gone through tonight. It's too much for one man to take, so you're gonna do the talking for me. I do not understand. Don't worry, I'll be right here and I'll tell you exactly what to say. You're gonna do great. Where are we going? First, we have to make a trade with my old friend Gans at his pawn store. On the way, you're gonna call Drox the Lone Shark. I do not believe I should be required to. Listen up, Morpho. You're gonna make a great corpsec officer. You know that, I know that. Well, that is very kind of you. But think about this. How much experience do you have talking to drug dealers, loan sharks, angry ex-girlfriends? None, right? Well, I... You're gonna have to deal with them all when you join the SEC. Why not practice while you have the chance? There is some logic present in your reasoning. However, I th Good lad. Now, first we call Drox. Jank, wake up and get Drox on the comm. Mask my signal so it looks like someone else is calling. Should I French toast it with cider on the upside? Yes, bounce our transmission off a CorpSec tower. Encrypt it out the asshole. Using a CorpSec tower in such a way is a level four. <sighs> Who the fuck is calling me? Tell, tell him you're the dancer from the Kinbaku Kitten Club. Can you do a girl's voice? I cannot. Uh, you better fucking answer me. You hear? Who is this? I am a dancer from the Kinbaku Kitten Club. You're supposed to be a sexy dancer, girl. I am a sexy dancer from the Kinbaku Kitten Club. Well, who, who's talking in the background? Wait a minute. Hayes, you motherfucker. Is that you? What the fuck are you trying to pull? <sighs> yeah, uh, sorry about the joke. Uh, let me do some introductions. Drox, meet my friend Morpho the Corp Bot. Morpho is bad at voices and can't follow simple instructions. Hello. Morpho, this is Drox. Drox is a professional blade knuckle arena fighter and wants to hurt me for a simple misunderstanding with his bets. Kill you. Not hurt you. <laughs> Kill you. Right, good correction. Glad you cleared that up. Mm-hmm. No problem. Jank, hang up the call before Drox traces me, please. Jogging the ratchet. Thanks. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm starting to feel really sorry for the poor corpse. Like, you know, he's trying just to do his job. I am also unaware. What was your plan exactly? I don't know. Maybe allude to some problem Drox had with a dancer. You know, I, I was pretty sure once you started talking with him, I'd come up with something. I do my best work when under pressure. I had this idea, but you know, when you wake up and a dream starts to fade straight away? No, and I believe your memory issue is related to alcohol and narcotics, not dreams. Uh, whatever, man. Hey, you know, this vehicle has limits when it, when it comes to getting high. You want to get higher? You need boosters, man. That's exactly how this shit works in this city. And trust me, I've played for the, I guess, base game. This shit is, this city is already going to shit. So we need to get really high if we want to avoid getting, I don't know, escaping from the fucking waters that's uh, underneath it somehow. Okay, I need to like actually find a place to park over here. See a parking spot? This one has my name on it. Uh, if I could only somehow, okay, try not to crash. Okay, there we go. Beautiful, like a glove. Right, so now where I have to go? Oh, cause he's fo following me. He's like a pet, you know, he followed me. Can we keep him? No. He's a security bot. Why would you want to keep him? Uh, I don't know. He got good eyes. Okay, well, point for you. But still, we cannot keep him. Why not? You know, he know how to behave. Especially how to behave. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what does he eat? Crime. He eats crime all the time. That actually rhymes somehow. I still have no damn idea how the heck I'm supposed to get to the opposite side. If I'm gonna go... I think I can go this way. Please tell me that this is actually the right, the right ramp. Because, oh no. Oh, this is bad. The city is collapsing. How it was going in the base game? If something breaks for once, it's okay. If something breaks twice, start to run. If something breaks three times, it's already too late or something like that. The engineer spoke about that thing in the first game. I forgot what he said. 
I really forgot what he said. What abortion clinic? We have to go to the abortion clinic? Did we did something between the two like sections? Hey Gans, long time no see. Get the fuck out of here right now, Hayes. I'm dead fucking serious. Just hold on, all right? I'm about to save your ass. Huh? Now, Officer Morpho, as I told you before, that antique hookah was all me. I found it down in the vents on my camping trip last year. I did not buy it here. I don't understand. You don't believe me, do you? I never believe you. Shit. Fucking hell, I'm sorry, Gans. I tried to take the bullet for this one. I thought it would even things up between us. Wait, this android is sec? You could come back tomorrow and arrest him for selling an illegal antique hookah without a license, is that right? I could arrest him tomorrow, yes. Oh, thank Cora. So we have some time. Hey, Gans, I bought you a day. I knew I shouldn't have sold you that fucking thing. But you did. And in Navalis law, where does that blame lie? Morpho? Illegal trades are the responsibility of all invested parties, and all will be held accountable. Damn it. So you got me a day's grace. How are we gonna sort this out? Morpho is actually a friend. He's not a bad guy for a court bot. Maybe I can clear this up. He just needs some limbs to grease the wheels, though. You lost all your discretionary funds, right? I did not lose them. You... Yeah, we blew through all his money, but then CorpSec tried to get me to rat you out. They collared you? Yeah, took every penny. I lost my apartment. Damn. For real? Sure. And I can't stand to see the same thing happen to you. I fucking love this shop, man. You work so hard. Well, I'm ruined. Illegal trade. I'll never clear that. I should skip town. Nah, hear me out, Gans. Morpho is my man. He'll clear this up. All we need to do is top up his discretionary funds. He's a real party animal. Me and him hit the town pretty hard. You work in this corpse that robot to get me off the hook? Just go with it, man. I got you. All right, officer. How much discretionary funds you lost? He's spent. 10K. Damn. In Midtown? You don't get a discount in Midtown bars when you're a corpo. Fair play. All right. I can clear the limbs. And, uh, Officer Morpho, I won't see you tomorrow. No. I will not be back here tomorrow. Fine. Here's the cash. You had that much in your wallet? Only safe place to keep limbs is on me. That way, if someone wants to rip me off, they gotta do it to my face. And I still keep old Sandy by my side at all times. Right. Sandy, the son-off shotgun. Well, we're out of here, Gans. You owe me, buddy. You mean we're even. Right, sure, we're even. Take it easy, man. What the heck has just happened over here? <laughs> this guy is... Why is this guy not a salesperson? I do not understand what just happened. Not just you, man. Considering working your way up to detective and corpse sec one day, Morpho? Perhaps. Although I am already authorized to follow leads and investigate crimes, all officers are trained to use their deductive reasoning. Right. Let's get back to the Hava. We have one more call to make, and it's going to be the toughest one of all. Another criminal? My ex. That's worse. <laughs> it's like, you know, like you have the hier hierarchy of calls, right? Your angry mother, right? Your, your boss, your ex-boss, Satan, your ex. Something like that, you know? It goes from the lowest to the highest, I believe. Also, uh, why is this guy not a, not, not like a salesman in some corporation? Or something like that, like some negotiations or something? How, how is, this guy is wasting his fucking talent on the streets, man. Also, if this is supposed to be a detective skill, or deductive skills, how Morpho called it, then no fucking wonder that the city is full of shit. I mean, if the police is gonna be like this in the future, guys, we are we are set. We are so fucking set, man. Like, there's no issue whatsoever. We are set. Just be sure to carry around a sh fucking shotgun or something, you know? It's gonna be brutal, man. On the streets, it's gonna be like fucking Battle Royale all over again. W without respawning. Unless you're Jesus, but then again, like, respawning takes you three days. Nah, 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 nah. That, that's terrible. I don't, I don't want that. No, no, no. That's stupid. Respawning three days? No. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? My eyes. 
Are you okay? You are perspiring. Yeah, probably just the tramadol tabs I took. Jank, get us a nav point for Jenna's place. Your distress is not pharmacological this time. You are nervous. Nah, I'm fine. You ready for another call? No. Good. We're calling Jenna Jate to let her know we're coming over. Jank, get the call ready. Morpho, here's what you're gonna do. I do not want to be involved in any more of your schemes. Last time we went there, you lost your nerve and your lunch. No schemes this time. We'll call her first. Listen carefully, okay? You're just a regular market research droid calling the wrong number, seeing who picks up the comm. No. Clearly, I am incapable of completing these subterfuges. I... Jank, make the call. Whistling the theme tune to Harpy's Dancing. Harpy's Dancing, okay. Who is this? Come on, man. I'm doing some market research. I am doing some market research. Right, well, listen. I'm busy right now. Very well. I wish you good... Wait a minute, who is this? You called me, asshole. Where is Jenna? Motherfucker, this is Hayes, right? Listen up, you better hear me, Hayes. Jenna doesn't want to talk to you anymore. You better stop fucking calling. I'm dead serious. Put her on. Put her on now. No way, she's over you. The hell she is. I'm coming up. If you do, I'll shoot you on sight. Not an idle threat, Hayes. I have a 45 and enough limbs to cover the death wound. I can explain everything. If she told you what happened, she probably has it all mixed up. I didn't do anything wrong. It doesn't matter. No, it's no one. I'm hanging up, honey. Damn it, please, please. I just need to explain one thing. I gotta talk to her, I'm desperate. I know you are, you stink of it. Listen up, Hayes. If you ever really cared about Jenna, don't call again. Go back to your other girls, the dominatrix, the barmaid, the fucking stripper. She doesn't deserve to be treated like this, and you don't deserve her. Jenna, can you hear this too? Jenna? Beep! The jig is up, governor. There's no keeper in the lighthouse. Damn it, Jenna. Are you unwell? I'm fine. Come on, let's spend that money we just got. I think you make very bad life choices. You and me both, buddy. The solutions to your problem are very clear. You must have a neural deficiency which prevents you seeing them. I can list the solutions for you. You should drink less, gamble less, get better friends, get a proper job. The greatest scam the corpse pulled was convincing us a job was the same as a dream. That sounds very clever, but doesn't really make sense. Okay, whatever that was supposed to be. Oh great, I'm back to Rania. Thank God I'm back to Rania. Rania! I hope you miss you, darling! Ah, fuck, I forgot we are fucked. Camus! I need a solution. This place stinks of old people. I don't know why. Oh. Hello! Control! Rania, you there? Still in the holdup? Yeah. I'm actually at the beach. Just ordered a cocktail. You want one? Very funny. You are still on the pod, right? Nowhere I'd rather be, Control, cause anywhere else and I'd be dead. Listen up, I got good news and bad news. Bad first, okay? You can't stay there anymore. We have a Corp CEO coming in that needs the pod. Great. Unless the good news is you have a billion limbs for me, I'm screwed. Maybe not. We had a data hack, but our sniffer AI caught it. It was a pretty basic rude attack. We could have reported it, but I had another idea. Which was? Well, the hacker was looking for your home address. That's more bad news. That's two separate pieces of bad news, Control. Hear me out. We leaked a fake address. I mean, I leaked a fake address. You think the hacker was the debt corp that sent the assassin after me? You know anyone else trying to track you down and kill you? Worryingly, yes. <laughs> Look, I reckon we sent that debt corp on a wild chicken chase. I've sent you a nav point. You need to get out of that holdout pod and out of that area. On my way, Control. Hey, wait, if you fed the dead corp the wrong address, is that assassin going to go kill some random person? I doubt it, Rania. I sent them to an apartment of an old drunk. I doubt they'd be conscious, and it would be pretty clear they're not you, even to a mad assassin android. They're not going to stop coming after me, Control. 
I'm still screwed. Hey, that was pre pretty clever thinking from Control, I have to admit. I This Control is like more like human than the old Control, but I still miss the old fart. I don't know why. I got attached, man! I got attached! Somehow, somewhere. Oh well, okay, back to the city and let's try to get ourselves killed. And that fucking android, I'm gonna add him to my collection, eventually. One day, he'll be mine. Cheer up, Rania. In Navalis, there's no such thing as a sure thing. By morning, I'm sure this will all have resolved itself. Now back to work, please. There's a package waiting at HQ. Control out. In the morning. The problem is with that control, I have to survive till the morning. That's the problem. Okay? And how the heck do you expect me to run around with a bloody ass angry android on my ass, huh? I mean, my ass is my ass is pretty pretty small, but I still how the heck I'm supposed to run from that thing? Oh, why it always has to be me, man? Do you have any plans to get us out of trouble? None, Camus. You? No, but I have thought of a good joke for this situation. Would you like to hear my joke? Why not? I could do with a laugh, right? Ah, damn it! What is wrong? Are you okay? Just these damn headaches again. I think I need to take better care of myself. Too much caffeine, not enough solid food, and I... Ah. Oh no. Should I call for help? No, it'll pass. Just give me a minute. Why don't you just go home? Camus, we can't. We need to finish this delivery. We can't just go home. I didn't say to go home. I said to... Right. I just got confused. Should I call Control for help? Maybe. No, wait. Habis. That asshole said the drug effects would wear off. Oh, yes. We should get medical help. We should... Jen, get me Habis on the comm. He was a customer. You have his contacts, right? Yes, but contacting a customer is not... Now. Calling. Calling. Call. Hey, I'm busy. Make it quick, comrade. Not your comrade. I'm having side effects from your drug. You're the driver who made a delivery while high on Violet Pilot. How you doing, Cloud Punk? I don't care about your drug business. I only care about the damn side effects I'm getting. Why am I getting sore heads? Nausea. Why am I getting confused about things? Those all sound like regular symptoms of living in Nivalis. What the hell? Listen to me, Habis. You stop calling me, you hear? I've got clients right at this minute waiting for me. There's a young lady here who's about to buy three whole crates of... Just help me, you miserable old man. I'm desperate here. Yes, that's a final prize. Yes, of course. That will be 10K. For the whole case. Yeah, sure, little girl. Deliveries. Yeah, I got one recently. She's trying to talk to me on the comm right now, actually. No, it's okay. I'll hang up. Don't you dare hang up on me. I said I'm desperate. Just tell me what to do. Every junkie I talk to is desperate. I have a gun, you know. You better keep away. What do you got over there? Why are you walking to- Hey! What is that? A knife? Get away, girl! Habis? Habis, what's happening? Her name is Rania. I, I don't know where she lives. I've- Habis? Habis! The call has disconnected. Based on the audio content of the call, I predict you are at an increased risk of violence and death. It sounds like someone was looking for you. They are getting closer. Archo. What do we do? They're gonna find us soon, Camus. We need to get to Pashta. Home isn't safe anymore. I think we need a plan. I feel bad that I always ask you if you have a plan. I will try to make a plan. I just need to get to Pashta. When we're all together, we'll think of something. Ah. We are almost home. It will be better soon. <sighs> yeah, so uh, th th that thing is going to shit. Also, if you're gonna be wondering about the weird editing all of a sudden, uh, it's because the game crashed. And it crashed in the middle of the transition, so yeah, some of the footage was lost. So sorry about that. I would, tr I would try to fix this thing during editing as much as I can, but I can't promise anything. So yeah, if that happens, that's gonna be the thing. Yeah, so uh, Archie is still after us. We are almost fucking dead. 
the, 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 I'm drunk apparently right now, so that's even better. Like, you know, this, this entire shit show is going even, even more shit right now. Okay, I have to park somewhere. Oh crap, try to park, try to park, try to park. Where's the parking lot? Yo, game! Parking lot. Okay, I see one. Whoa! Okay, almost there. Park vehicle. Thank God, finally. Oh, I'm sick. Right, I've got back home. Thank God. Jesus, thank Christ. What the heck is happening? Stop flipping the camera! Wait, I have to go all the, all the way around? God damn it. But I actually think that going home is gonna be such a good idea, Rania. You know, the murderers after us. The fucking sentinel fucking assassin droid or whatever. But yeah, sure, if you think that going home right now is a great good idea, then... Well, I'll have to do the heavy lifting anyway. Home sweet fucking home. Oh my god, I don't see a jack shit. Uh, where am I? Okay, talk to Evelyn. Ah, oh, fuck, I have to go outside. God damn it, piece of shit. Hi, Evelyn. Rania, are you okay? You look ill. Yeah, no, I'm struggling, but I'll be okay. Sorry, Evelyn, I don't have time to talk. Please, Rania, a moment. It's about Pashta. What? Is she okay? Yes, she is in my apartment. Why? I want to see her. Of course. But first, I have to tell you... I have seen a lot of danger in my life, Rania. I've been hunted in the Outer Rim by assassins, bounty hunters, and core enforcers. When you live that life, you learn to feel danger in your bones. I feel it now. Strangers in the neighborhood. Glances that linger too long. Rania, Pashta is not safe in your apartment. I know, Evelyn, and thank you. You're right, I'm in trouble. We're in trouble. Let me protect her, Rania. She knows me. Trusts me. She will understand. Are you sure about this, Evelyn? You might be putting yourself in danger. Without you, Rania, I wouldn't be here at all. Please let me help. Please, trust me. I do trust you, Evelyn. I just... I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Whatever the problem is, you can handle it, Rania. With Chemis's help, of course. Follow your instincts. When you get that feeling deep in your soul that you are in danger, trust it. Your feelings won't let you down. I will, Evelyn. Should we really go into the apartment? Yes, I need to pick up some medicine. I have an herb from back home, saracillin. It'll help the headaches. Mom really knew how to look after us. She always had the right medicine when you got sick. But the apartment... I don't know. Maybe we should avoid it. Why? My instincts, like Evelyn said. I don't know. My instincts are telling me I should go in. I have this really strong feeling we should stay home. That seems bad. I advise the opposite. And the dog is extremely fucking smart and we are going back to the goddamn car. Now! And besides, I'm the one driving around anyway, so... <laughs> fuck you, Rania, and fuck your decisions. Get into the car. And? I'm glad you decided to avoid the apartment. Will you be okay without the medicine? My head is starting to clear. I think it's just stress. You need to get help. We need a doctor. We could ask Evelyn. No, Camus, I'm fine. We need to move. I'm going to talk with Control. I have an idea. A plan? Maybe the beginnings of one. Let's go. Should we check in on Pashta first? No, Camus. The best thing we can do for her tonight is stay away till I fix this thing. We can't come back here. Yay! Decisions have been made finally. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is going sideways. I need to refuel my fucking car. Holy shit. I barely have any fuel left. Yeah, you surviving? Just about. Remember I said I had an idea to solve our Curzona dilemma? No. Sure I did. I said I could rat out an old friend and get you off the hook. Well, I think it worked. Seriously? Yep, two birds. I'm taking out an old enemy at the same time. It's kind of complicated setup, but you just gotta trust me. Not bad, right? Yeah, not bad. Come on, 14 FC. Give me a bit more enthusiasm here. Right, I'm just a little tired. But thank you. Seriously, thank you so much. You got it. Now you gonna help me beat Creddy? To make the most fucking deliveries any Cloud Punk driver's ever made in one night? Yeah, you got it, Control. On to the next job. Someone asked for you special. That's never good. An old friend, so they said. 
Sam? Sam the trucker? Think so. From your old home, the Eastern Peninsula. Sam's a long distance trucker. She was the one who brought me here to Novalis. Let me stow away in her cab. Glad to hear you got a friend out there. Get to work. Yeah, okay, control. Thanks anyway, but, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry I'm still getting to the end of my record time, so for now I'm gonna leave this thing over here. We're gonna, of course, continue the story in Navalis, uh, and, uh, I like hi. like Sam. Me too, Camus. I hope she's not in trouble. I can't remember the journey to... Uh, why the fuck I have a bad feeling about this? <laughs> why the heck I got a bad feeling that this thing is gonna go sideways even more? Like, completely sideways all the fucking time. Alice at all. You were on a data drive. I remember. Or I don't remember. I know what you mean, Camus. Let's go pick up this package for Sam. I wonder what it is. Incoming call from a contact called Sam. Oh, nice. Put her through. Honk honk. This is the hard truck and Sam on the old Slip Slot Express. I better be talking to Rania? Rania. I told you before, it's Rania. And I told you I ain't changing how I speak for no one. You're Rania or you're dirt. And you ain't dirt, girl. I missed you too, Sam. How you been? Same old, same old. Currently skeeting over an ice floe bigger than Novalis. Been in a free-flowing drift slide for gone two hours now. A what? Hey, is that Camus? Yes, it is me. Camus the dog. So, you got Camus a new frame just like you said you would. All right, all right. Well, let me explain, Camus. I drive an ice truck between the eastern outposts and Nivalis. It's mostly glacier and ice flows. Sometimes lakes if you go through a boreal flare and the ice melts. Wow. Is your truck also a boat? You know what, Camus? It kind of is. I drive a Junction 3000 ice truck glider. It's mostly on skis, but it can traverse water or even dry land, although it's pretty slow when it does. Is it big? Oh, sure is. Near 4,000 tons. Right now, I'm cruising over an endless ocean of blind and white. Got the snow blindness right now, but I'll swap out my optics in an hour or so. I kind of like it, to be honest. They say, in the brightest light, you see the face of God. Well, cruising across the Iceland's the rumble of this strontium engine humming through my bones. I feel pretty close to something holy. Wow, I would love to see that. Is it as wonderful as it sounds? It's cold as hell in that cab. All you see is white and it smells like sulfur the whole time. But it is pretty amazing. Hey Sam, what's the package? I'll tell you when you get it, Rania. I'm coming up on a frozen scarp. Gonna have to keep my eyes on the prize. I'll call you back. Okay, well, we'll see how that is gonna go. But that's gonna be the thing, as I said, for the future episodes. If you want to try, Cloud Punk yourself, link in the description as always for both the game and the little expansion pack and well, more of the story to come eventually. So thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode, subs a lot, and see you all in the next video.